There are a few different ways to get to Google Classroom. One of them is by the Apps button and going to More, but you can't do it if you're not in Drive. So if you click on Drive first, you can go to the Apps button, and then you can click on More, and then Google Classroom is there. Uh, you can also just type it into the address bar at the top of the screen. Uh, and I've done that, and I made it a bookmark because I go there often, so I just click on Classroom now. And then this is your Google Classroom homepage. Uh, you'll notice that all of the classrooms that I either am in charge of or if I'm a student in them uh, show up on this page. And in the left-hand corner, you can also get to them. You'll notice that you're in charge of them if they have students. If you're not in charge of them, you're a student, then they have someone's name. And then from the sidebar, the upper left-hand corner, the three lines, you can get to all of your classes again, and that breaks them down by people, ones you're in charge of and then ones you're, in, you're a student of. And you're probably going to want to go to Settings uh, and change the notifications while you're in there uh, because you'll get an email every time something changes, and that just gets really, really tiring. And then you can go back to the home screen and the plus button in the upper right hand corner next to your login name is where you'll join or create classes. So if you click join class, that's where if someone gives you a class code, you can join and be a student in their class. Or you can click create cr class where you're going to create. And you have to give each class a name and then you're going to give it a section as well. And you can fill out, all you really need is a name, but you can fill out the rest of it as much as you want and then click create and it'll make the Google class for you. And you can make classes for a lot of different things. You can make them for each individual class. You can use one course and dump all of the kids into it. Uh, you could use them for professional development reasons. You can use them for pretty much anything. And you'll notice that once that's created, it's now in the list of my classes that I'm in charge of and they go in order of newest first. So if you're trying to order them in a correct, in a, a specific way, you're going to want to make them so that way you know that the last one you're going to make is going to be at the top. And the screen has a whole bunch of stuff on it. It has the topics you can make so that way you can tag stuff. It has the stream, which you can show and change around a little bit, which we'll get into later on in other videos. And then it has the students part, which we'll get into on how to add students into a second video. And the same thing with the about page we'll get into later on as well. And then you can select a theme. You can change what each one of them looks like. So when I had different classes, I made each one a different theme. That way I could tell them apart easily by just looking at whatever picture was up there. So I can choose this one because you can choose a whole bunch of different ones from the Google library or you can upload any picture from your computer in, th in there as a theme as well. In later videos, we'll look at stream, students, and about uh, and go through all the different assignments and asking questions and uh, making announcements in those videos as well.